Danny Alves has won so much in his career as a footballer, he agreed to return to Barcelona for just one euro a week. Actually, that's not true. Thankfully, you have us to tell you what's real and what isn't. These are 10 things you didn't know about Danny Alves. Picking football's GOAT is a discussion for the ages. Messi, Cristiano, Pele, Di Stefano, Olivier Giroud? Your guess is as good as ours. Yet pointing out who the greatest winner of all time is, well, that's no trouble at all. You just count them up. And Danny Alves has got good at counting over the years. He's officially the greatest trophy winner in football of all time. If our math is correct, his tally currently stands at 42 trophies. That includes six La Liga titles, three Champions Leagues, two UEFA Cups with Sevilla, two French League on titles, one Serie A title, two Copa Americas with Brazil, and he's now even added an Olympic gold to his cabinet. There are just two big trophies missing, a Copa Libertadores, the South American equivalent to the Champions League, and a World Cup with Brazil. Both Cafu and Ronaldinho have achieved that famed treble of UCL, Copa Libertadores, and World Cup, but Danny has won the most trophies combined. So when you've won so much, earning a small wage to go back to the club closest to your heart isn't a big deal. Danny's return to Barcelona was made on that agreement. But while a lot of football accounts on social media reported a figure of one euro per week, that's a lie. Danny agreed to a six-month contract, earning $175,000 a year, the minimum permitted by La Liga. A great gesture nonetheless. Before making it as a footballer, Danny had to struggle. Their family wasn't poor, but lived a modest life as farmers. Danny slept on a cement bed in a damp room. His back hurt. Since he was a little kid, Danny woke up in the middle of the night to help his dad tirelessly on the fields. He did it with a smile on his face. Danny just wanted to help his family any way he could, even taking jobs as a waiter and an actor? Yes, young Danny worked as an extra in films, a career he dropped for football. After discovering his love for the game, Danny decided to give it an honest shot and moved to Bahia's Academy. There, he realized he wasn't the best, but promised he'd give his all to make his father proud. You might be 51st in ability, but you are going to be number one or number two in drive. You are going to be a warrior. You are not going back home no matter what. Boy, did he keep his word. When Pep Guardiola took over FC Barcelona in 2008, he had a clear idea of what he wanted to do. Take the ball, pass the ball. He also knew how he wanted to do it having coached Barcelona's B-side and knowing the amount of talent La Masia possessed. And Pep knew who he wanted on his team. Dani Alves was Pep's first signing at the helm of FC Barcelona. $40 million were well spent on the then Sevilla right-back that had become the best in his position in Spain. Dani was an instant hit, of course, and the rest is history. But as we don't believe in coincidences, we have to point out he's Xavi's first signing too. Now, Kules will hope this is a good omen for things to come. Even if Pep and Danny understood each other really well, there was one thing in which the Brazilian disagreed with him, even disobeying the Catalan coach. Pep hates these fullback to winger passes because they don't offer progression, he told Globo Esporte. But Danny did those passes all the time with Leo Messi, and Pep would get really angry at him for it. But there was a simple reason. I told him if Messi doesn't touch the ball every two minutes, he disconnects, and we need him connected so he can decide the game. He agreed. It's hard to argue with the results. The Danny Alves Leo Messi partnership was a joy to watch. It was free flowing artistry on the pitch. And they have the stats to back that association up. For a long time, Danny Alves had the record of most assists to Leo Messi. Their telepathic connection ended up at a Messi goal 42 times. Danny was number one ahead of Pedro, Xavi, and even Iniesta. But after his departure, Luis Suarez took it upon himself to steal those bragging rights. Eventually, the Uruguayan dethroned Danny as Messi's biggest assister, providing 47 assists for La Pulga. Maybe Leo will join Danny again at the Camp Nou one day. Danny gets along with most people, but not CR7. Their feud started after Alves shared his views on the Portuguese legend. He has things that I do not admire because I play for the team. I think that my team is more important than me, Alves told Bola de Ves in 2015. I think he cares little for what really matters, which is the collective side of the game. Ronaldo didn't appreciate his comments and snubbed the Brazilian at the 2015 Ballon d'Or ceremony, but maybe that's because he didn't read the full article. Dani Alves went on to name Ronnie as his most difficult opponent. 
After Cristiano's diss, the Brazilian confessed, All my fights with Cristiano were because of the press. If people only knew how much I respect Cristiano Ronaldo, I will repeat it to make myself clear. I respect Cristiano Ronaldo. And in a 2020 interview, he went deeper on the subject. He never made me really suffer because I was focused, but the most difficult opponent I've faced has been Cristiano Ronaldo, without any doubt. He's that type of opponent that you have to be 100% focused on. If you are at 99%, he will ruin you and will make you look silly. Danny is on his fifth jersey number at FCB, and his choices are incredible. When he arrived, he wore the number 20. Soon after, he moved to the conventional number for a right back, the number 2. Then, when Eric Abidal left the club, he took the 22 as an homage. In the 15-16 season, he chose the number 6 that had just been vacated by Xavi. And now, he's wearing Iniesta's number 8. It's a bit uncommon. Footballers are generally keen on keeping their preferred numbers. But Danny likes switching them around. At Sevilla, he played with the numbers 8, 6, and 4. At PSG, he wore 32, 13, 6, and 3. And when he moved to Sao Paulo, he took the number 10 shirt. Should Ansu Fati be worried? Speaking of numbers, Danny Alves has been married twice. His first marriage was to Brazilian Dinora Santana, who acted as his football agent for years and is the mother of their two sons. Divorced in 2011, they remained good friends and Dino even took care of Danny's affairs for several years after their split. Then Danny remarried, tying the knot to Joanna Sands. We just don't know exactly when, as the couple did it in secret. Danny's other passion is music. He loves to sing, to beat on his drums, and has released several tracks. But actually, music seems to be his number one passion. So maybe in the future, when he finally retires from the game with 238 titles to his name, he'll focus on making his dream come true. But before moving on to the final item on our list, here are a few random facts that didn't quite make the cut. Did you know the 40 millions paid by Barcelona has been basically the only money spent on Dani Alves? Sevilla paid just over half a million dollars for him, and then his moves to PSG, Juventus, and Sao Paulo were all done as a free agent. Dani Alves's career could have been entirely different, as in 2007, he almost signed for Chelsea. And if you didn't know, Diego Maradona wasn't fond of Dani. He made headlines once more when he publicly called him a boludo on TV, an Argentinian word for someone who's very dumb. Dani, as have many others, was the victim of racism playing in La Liga. Monkey chants, insults, whistles, he was the target for all of it. But in 2014, Villarreal fans threw a banana at him, which Danny then proceeded to pick up and eat, before taking a corner kick. The move was applauded everywhere, and it instigated the hashtag WeAreAllMonkeys viral campaign to fight racism. And it was all planned, except Neymar was supposed to do it. A marketing firm contacted the Brazilian duo after they were racially abused against Espanol in March where it was decided one of them would make sure to eat the fruit on camera next time such an incident occurred. Danny saw the opportunity and took it. Danny Alves is a living, breathing football legend that decided to go back to the club closest to his heart when most would be thinking about retirement. Now, we don't know when he'll close the curtains on his career, but we're sure he'll end up winning more titles by then. Along with an incredible career, Danny Alves has shared the locker room with some of the biggest legends of the game. And he has more than his fair share of crazy stories, like the time Neymar lost it with his teammates due to his sister.